when you got mini me like on set right she's the bomb she's doing my um my hair and emily right here y'all emily oh my <laughs> goodness i'm gonna put her information like in the description box or something because y'all she does makeup like i would do it she's so bomb i just this is just i'm heaven right now that's all i can say Yay, we're back. Like we never left. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. What's up, good people? AKA winners. That's what we do. Hey, that's all we do. Hey, 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 I'm coming to you with another video. Hey, coming to you with another video. Picky, picky. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, you guys. Big hugs. Group hug. I am back with another video. I'm actually preparing to go to a show called The Real out here in Los Angeles. So um, I, I, I gotta get into some goodies for you guys. Like I'm so, I'm super duper excited. I don't know if you've been somewhere under a rock, but if you have, I um, want to invite you to follow my Instagram channel or my Instagram page, which is Seeky underscore beauty. But let me just fix these brows, baby, because listen, you got to just go over it real quick. Hold on, one moment, though, girl. What I was saying was if you do follow me on Seeky underscore beauty, then you already know what's up. If you do not, let me just like enlighten you real quick and then go on over there and follow, just saying, okay? But, oh, first and foremost, if you are not a part of the Winners Fan Bam here on YouTube, now's your chance you can join in on the fun all you have to do is click that subscribe button and make sure that you turn your notifications on because a little birdie told me that if you don't do that like you're missing notifications and you don't you're not they're not letting you know when my videos are up and another thing that i've learned about algorithms as it pertains to social media is if you're not liking if you're not commenting if you're not like engaging in activity then a lot of times they may not let you see what's going on with the people that you're subscribed to or even on instagram so just make sure that whoever you follow every now and again you hit you know hit them with a, like a you know hey girl hey oh you cute you cute i see you or something so that you can get um so that it shows that you're active and you're engaged and you want to see it so then now that we have the logistics out of the way so um on my ck underscore beauty page i let you guys know that i um was in a photo shoot and i'm gonna put that like in the title somewhere you know probably it is in the title but i was involved in the color pop photo shoot um releasing their new pretty fresh concealer well dang that's kind of washed out so let me take it out and so they hit me up and they asked me if I wanted to participate in a photo shoot for an upcoming product that they were launching. I had no idea what it was until I got there, but this is the concealer. It's called Pretty Fresh, but I do have a disclaimer. I really just wanted to get on here and show you guys the collection and talk about it because I want you guys to see up close and personal, you know, how the match is and you know what they sent me. Cause at first I was just gonna give you some behind the scenes and show you the photo shoot and you know, just little clips and stuff like that. But then, I opened up my mail girl and I had a whole package with their pretty fresh products in it. So I was like, well, why not use the pretty fresh products, you know, in a video? But my disclaimer is that I am going to use the pretty fresh concealer, but I'm going to mix it because as I said, I am going on the reel today. I'm going to be um, in the audience and that means that I'll probably be on camera and baby, I got to look my best and hydrating is not my best. So I'm telling you right now, I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to put the lime and the coconut and mix it all up. They gave me three concealers and they already know my shade match. So we're going to see like they look pretty. I don't know. Like this one is actually my perfect shade. She didn't mix it with anything. This is the um, the dark 175W and I am on their website. You guys, when you go look up this color and you click on it and you scroll, baby, guess whose face is there? Ah, yes, girl. It's it is I. It is I. This is medium dark tan warm. And this is for highlighting, but this is hydrating. I, I, I'm not using all that. The only thing I'm gonna use today is probably, you know, I'll go ahead and use a little bit to contour with. I'll do that. But this is dark, deep dark, 285N. So I'll probably use this to contour. I will use a little bit of this on my face, but I am, I'll put it on first, but I am gonna mix it with the Urban Decay Stay Naked because, mm -mm, why, why would I do that? Why, why, why would you do that? Why would you do that? 
<laughs> you know him, I love you. Or whatever she said. Like I said, there will be footage of her doing my makeup, of using it as a concealer under the eyes, and she used it as a concealer all over. That was my whole complexion, y'all. That's She used everything. And then I have another picture and another setting where she used the no filter concealer. Now I'm gonna be honest, the no filter concealer as foundation is my zhuzh, like that's my jam. That's the one I was feeling the most because even when we did the pictures with the hydrating, I was like, ooh, child, oh no. And I wanna tell you guys too, Clinique sent me something in the mail that I'm gonna be doing a video on. And then I got a package from Too Faced, which is like this whole gingerbread or something collection. So I think I wanna play in that and come before you guys, so just make sure you subscribe make sure you tune in make sure you check my channel every week i know i kind of didn't get one up this week but it's okay the huge and the norm is me getting a video up every week okay and just so you know the corrector that i'm using is the makeup forever um ultra hd concealer and this is in the shade 51 and um also in this collection they also have a beauty sponge this is for the concealer and i forgot to wet her but i'm not going to use a concealer under my eyes anyway but i did really want to use it a reusable bin blending sponge that effortlessly and precisely blends makeup into the skin for flawless application it's latex free and does it say you have to wet it yeah wet blending sponge wet blending sponge maybe i'll do that i'm gonna try to wet it a little bit because I'm, I'm definitely not about to get up that's what we're not doing but my bad i just went and did my other sponge but it's definitely not for all over the face unless you know i mean like you be blending forever girl look <laughs> but i'm gonna tell you right now mm -mm. it's like very very kind of hydrating but it looks so good so I want to show you guys that but I'm gonna put it on and then I'm gonna go over it with my Urban Decay because I can't be out here living this hydrating life like that okay but you definitely can use this concealer as a foundation because that's all we had in the photo shoot now let me read this real quick it says uh, pretty fresh it's hyaluronic full coverage creamy cushion concealer it instantly brightens skin for a fresh natural finish that lasts all day infused with hyaluronic acid aka ha plus coconut water to hydrate the skin and it's available in 30 shades now it's it's for under eyes but they totally use it all over the face right and so it says dermatologist test it gluten-free oil-free paraben free and it's ideal for all skin types and i mean it is it but if you kind of like that do we end that like you know kind of hydrating look i'm not a super fan so i'm gonna mix it because i don't oh 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 i don't know if you let it maybe if you let it sit it gets a little more dry girl you see that oh i'm tempted to just use it by itself but i'm not i i, I don't want to do that to myself because in them pictures it was really looking dewy but it may be all the other stuff she used but let's just put it all on and then I'll go on with my Urban Decay too. So if you are one of those people that like to be on the go and you don't wanna carry like this big bottle of foundation, y'all know I did a video using the um, no filter foundation, I mean concealer too, I'll link that. But they have since changed the um, names of those concealers, so it's not the same. But I'll link that video that I did because I use it as a foundation before they even said you could. And baby, it worked. I was shooketh. If you are one of those that are on the go and you like to do your makeup in the car or whatever, like you can totally take this concealer and do that. But there is the foundation. That's just with one coat. But um, I'm definitely gonna go over with my Urban Decay, okay? But there it is, A. Hey. And there it is, A. Hey. It's like, it's a little bit um, line of demarcation, but once you put your powder on and everything and set it, you will be fine. And then I will show you, let me put this foundation on. Now that you see the concealer and all its glory all alone, I am gonna mix this foundation cause I got to. Let me put a little bit of this Juvia's Place in number 12 and then I am gonna use that one to contour. All right, so here we go with this uh, contour. This is probably a little dark for me, but I'm gonna try it nonetheless. You know what? If I can um, tell y'all, I never use a cream contour. Like I'm just doing that for y'all today. I like almost never do. So now <laughs> we're gonna let that sit for a little bit cause that's how we get down. And then I'm gonna set this with my Banana Powder by Black Radiance. And then always make sure you take a minute to have a sip of coffee. 
Cheers with the Disney cup. <laughs> that is a strong contour. I usually don't do it that heavy, but it's okay. And now let's just blend out that correct, that uh, contour. That is not a bad shade. I think they did all right. I don't know about that lighter one. I'll swatch that too. But they did all right with the contour. It is a little red tone though, but it's okay. And I will take care of that, I know. Not bad. That's a little heavy on the nose contour though for me, but snatcheth. Ooh, blend her out, honey. I may use that other end of the concealer just to blend that out a little more, cause that's a lot. That little trick she taught, you see how it snatched the bottom of that nose, girl? Mm. So to make the middle stand out a little more, let me take this powder, put that right there. And I'll probably still uh, contour a little bit with some powder too, cause that's my jam. But don't, but don't. There we go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this CoverGirl Full Spectrum. Mm -hmm. You can see it's a love thing, tan golden, and I am just gonna blend that around. And I always get a lot of questions about the powder that I use. I mean, not the powder, the brush. This is the Morphe E1. This is all, and get down here, girl. This is all I use to put on my powder. And I love using this on clients too. So I'm gonna do this Tiger Lily, right? To give me a little bit of warmth and a little bit of, a little bit of shema shema. Tiger Lily by Becca. I said I wasn't gonna do all this on camera, but I wanna do the spray. So you stuck with me for a minute. I got the Glow Up, baby, the Glow Up by Ofra. And we're going to go into, hunty, my Beverly Hills right there. Yeah, I broke it, no judging, but we're going into, ah, yes. I wasn't one to do this little situation, the little button part of the nose, but it's actually been okay these days. I hope you guys, I don't know if you guys have seen the video where I talk about how to hide your under eye lines and I take, I show you a little trick and a little technique. This is it, so I'm gonna add a little more to it because I kind of put it away when I did the concealer. Let me shake it. I pray that it's not like some glitter reflux or something in it, but we're gonna use this hyaluronic acid setting mist and we're gonna see if that brings everything together. And then after it brings everything together, I'm gonna set it with Urban Decay because Urban Decay will put it in its place and she won't move. Mmm, it's real soft. Mmm. Oh, it's very, very soft. Very, very soft, very, very subtle. Not too, I mean, you almost don't feel it on, but I feel like that really brought everything together real good. Okay, now we're gonna take the big dog that's gonna lock it in. Now that right there misted everything and made it set just really beautifully. And now we're gonna go in with the big dog to make it like not move. But I'm gonna go in with this O for Brooklyn. This is the old packaging. So far, so far. This is one of my favorite, favorite lipsticks from Ofra. Mm, there she is. Hey, I need some earrings. Hey, I need a ring. Hey, but that is it. Hey, make sure you subscribe. Hey, make sure you join. Hey, join the family. Hey, 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 and have an awesome hey, a blessed day. Hey. So anyway, that is it for this video. You guys have an awesome blessed day. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me because I know you could be doing anything else with your time. So I am so appreciative. I'm so grateful, and I will. See you sooner than you think. Bye. Me. Confidence is key. You know what I mean. Uh -huh. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. Yeah.